Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today I wanted to talk about how to import custom content from CSGO maps into Hammer um, to make studying them a little bit easier. Uh, CSGO has a bunch of operations maps, as I'm sure you know, and many of them include a lot of custom content, like Gwalior, which is where we are right now. Uh, this map is set somewhere in India, in Gwalior, and um, it is a real place. And so it has a lot of custom content. I, I would bet that 90% of this stuff that you're seeing on the screen right now, the screen right now, excuse me, is stuff that was made by FM Pone and Kai Ket, who were the map's authors. Um, so if you guys are interested in mapping, and um, which you probably are if you're at this video, um, then you're probably wanting to study how maps are made, and that's a great way to learn things. That's one of the best ways to learn things is to. Uh, use what someone else has made and study them, discover how they made certain things, and then you can incorporate those techniques into your maps. Um, so I, uh, CSGO is a little bit different than most Source Engine games because most maps, like I said, have a lot of custom content. So when you decompile them and open them in Hammer, they're not going to work because you're going to be missing a lot of the assets that the uh, developers used and then packed into the BSP. Um, so we need to extract them. To be able to view them. So uh, I'm going to use uh, Gwalior as an example today. As I said, it probably has a lot of custom content. Uh, so let's hop right into it. I'm going to quit out of the game first. And uh, first thing that we need to do is decompile the map so we can access it in Hammer. So I already have a decompiled version, um, but I will go through it again because we need to to uh, extract the content. So I'm using BSP source. And uh, this is kind of the de facto standard nowadays for decompiling Source Engine maps, including CSGO maps. Um, and it has a handy little tool, if I can move my mouse, I'm going to have to apologize in advance, my mouse is really messed up right now, I'm using like a trackball mouse from 1990 while I wait for my, uh, my SteelSeries mouse to get RMA. Uh, so I'm going to go to Other here, and uh, hit this Extract Embedded Files tick box. Uh, this will be unticked by default, so you'll need to go in here and tick it. And, um, then go in and add your BSP. You can click the Add button, or you can just drop it in there. So I'm just going to drop it in there. I'm going to go to my uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive folder, CSGO. Go into Maps, and uh, you can scroll down, and DE Gwalior, you will find out, is not in here. Even though some other uh, operations maps like Facade, Favela, Empire, they're all in there. Uh, Valve removed some of them at some point. Uh, I don't know why exactly, but you'll need to subscribe to it first. So I have it open in my tab here in Chrome. Uh, you can subscribe to it on the workshop, and uh, once it's downloaded, you need to make note of this workshop ID here. If I can move my mouse. Um, 13681952 is the workshop ID for Gwalior. So if I go in now to my maps folder, the uh, workshop maps are downloaded into the CSGO root folder in the maps workshop folder in here. So we've got 1368. There it is right now. So DE Gwalior BSP, some thumbnail images. So now I'm going to open back up BSP source. That's the console. Don't really need that open right now. Um, and then I'm going to drag the uh, Gwalior BSP in there. Make sure that I have extract embedded files on. Um, and I don't think I actually talked about what that is. This just extracts all the files that are um, embedded into the BSP. Lighting information, uh, radar images, materials and models and all that crap get embedded. So you need to extract that. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit decompile. And I'm going to put it into my development folder, CSGO Dev. Uh, I have another video on how to set up a CSGO Dev folder. It just makes um, keeping track of assets, organizing them, separating them from other assets a little bit easier. So I have a maps assets folder set up to, uh, if I can double click, what is going on? Um, to house, I have some folders in here to house uh, content for custom maps that I decompile. Um, so I'm going to make a new folder in here for Gwalior, DE Gwalior. Enter that, and now I can save it, and it'll start by extracting the lighting information. That's what this is. This is LDR lighting information, and then it'll switch to HDR now. And that's just all the lighting information for the geometry and uh, models. And now it's extracting the content, and now it's extracting the BSP, um, brushes and planes, displacements, entities, overlays and funk details, all that stuff. Uh, and now it's finished, so I can get rid of the uh, console. Come back in here, remove the uh, queue. Minimize these windows. And uh, before I go further, I already have uh, this open at the moment. I'm going to X out of that and open up the CSGO SDK and take a drink of Gatorade while I'm at it. 
I've been running around today. I need some, need some Gatorade. So I'm gonna open up the Hammer World Editor. And we can see where we stand at the moment without having any custom content installed. So I already decompiled uh, Gwalior earlier. So if I go to my CSGO-D's folder, Maps Assets, we can see right now that we have a decompiled VMF and then the content is stored in here. We'll get back into that in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this because I already have a decompiled one in my SDK content folder. DE Gwalior. Take just a second to load. And here it is, this is what you should see if you're working with some custom uh, maps. Most of them are gonna have custom content and they're gonna have these giant error messages because you don't have any of the content installed in the proper directory yet. Um, so this makes working with them pretty much impossible, trying to see where things are. You would have to hide the props viz group to um, get rid of the errors and then you're missing all the props, of course. Uh, I can get rid of the tool brushes too. Just clean up the area and brush entities. And now we can see what we're working with. So we have no props in here. Uh, this is all just uh, brush and uh, yeah, brushes. And uh, most of the faces are white. And uh, that just means that we're missing the assets for those too. Gwalior, Castle, Brick Sharp, Zero A, all that stuff. Um, so we need to extract that content. We've already done that. So now we just need to, need to put it in the proper directories for Hammer to find it. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of Hammer. And then I'm going to go back into my Explorer window. That is the wrong Explorer window. Go back into CSGO div, that's DirectX. My mouse is just ridiculous. Maps assets, DE Gwalior. And here's all the stuff that we extracted from the VSP. So this is all lighting information, the VHV files, like I said earlier. Um, I'm gonna go through these real quick just so you can uh, know what they are. The KV file is uh, where you define which factions you want your map to use. So Gwalior uses Balkan and uh, the SAS factions. Uh, this is where that is set up. And this file here, I'm gonna pop that down. Uh, the nav file is the navigation mesh for bots. And then the TXT file in the maps folder is uh, the stuff that you'll see on the loading screen. There's a, you'll notice when you load maps or when you're loading maps to play a game or something, uh, there will be some text in the loading screen with the uh, radar image next to it. And for custom maps, they often have a gray font right here. This is that's a gray color that says a community a community map created by, and then an orange font over here. FMPone and Kaiket in this case, um, and then the rules here thing just I think it automatically generates um, the text for either defuse or hostage rescue. Um, so that's where this loading screen text is set up. Gosh, this mouse. I apologize. Back out into I'm gonna skip materials and models and go to resource. Overviews, this is where the radar images is. Radar images are. Uh, Gwalior doesn't have a spectate radar. Uh, sometimes they'll have a radar and then a spectate radar. And in the case of Nuke, Nuke also has a lower radar image. Um, so this is what the radar looks like for Gwalior. Um, and then the TXT file in here is what sets up the positioning for the radar uh, in game to make sure that everything lines up properly. So that's all of that stuff. Let's move on to the actual assets. So we have materials and models here. This is all the stuff that's gonna be uh, used to texture the map. Um, and also the stuff that's gonna be used to texture the models that are used in the map. Um, so this this uh, this maps folder here usually contains just stuff that was used, uh, default assets that were used. But I've also found that um, I think uh, FM Pone and Kaiket use the maps folder to house this OP12 thing. And it has some custom custom textures in here as well. I'm not quite sure why they did that exactly and not just put all of it in the actual DE Gwalior custom maps folder, custom materials folder in here, but I don't know. So we'll need all this stuff. Um, and we'll also need the models folder. This is all the custom models that they generated uh, to use in the map. So we'll need all of that. And we don't need the resource or maps folder. Those are just the TXT files. You can keep them if you want uh, to for reference later. Um, but for our purposes, I'm just gonna cut materials and models out of here, paste it here, and now we can get rid of all this stuff. Okay, so once you've deleted everything, uh, except for materials and models, now all we need to do is let Hammer know 
this folder exists, so it'll pull assets from it. So um, I have my game info file set up here, and again, instructions for how to set up this uh, CSGO D folder. I'm going to have that in the description. Uh, I made a video on that. So I've already got it in here. I did this earlier. So I've got the equalier right here that it's going to, uh, Hammer's going to read. So once that's saved, all you need to do is uh, boot back into Hammer. So I'm going to launch Hammer now. Take another sip of my Gatorade. It has launched. Now I'm going to open the open the messages pane just so we can make sure that it's loaded. So we've got maps, assets, de Gwalior right there. This is where all the search paths will be given to you. Just to make sure that you've got everything loaded. And now I'm going to open up de Gwalior. De Gwalior. I'm just going to call it Gwalior. I don't know why I keep saying de Gwalior. Again, and we should see that there. There it is. All of our assets are loaded now. Go into the auto tab, get rid of tool brushes, get rid of brush entities. And now you can see all of the assets. No more huge error models and no more white faces. Now we have everything available to us. So we can uh, browse around, study the map, find things that uh, we want to figure out how to do much easier. Um, now, one thing I'll say about this. Um, you uh, if, if you really shouldn't use any of these assets. Um, I've extracted these just so I can use them to study the map. Um, but this stuff was created by FMPO and Kaiket, and uh, it's not yours, especially if you're planning on uh, shipping your map um, and you want Valve to purchase it. You should not use these assets in your map unless you have express permission from the authors. Um, so I would definitely not not use this for any of your maps. Just to be on the safe side, there will there will be legal repercussions if you do. Uh, just use them to study with. So I just want to say that real quick. And uh, anyways, that's how you do that. And hopefully I've helped you guys out. Maybe hopefully I haven't annoyed you so much with my mouse. It's ridiculous. I apologize for that again. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys learned something, and I will see you in the next video.